On this episode of Small Biz 518, we're at Embroidery and More in Covington Park, New York. Thank you for having us here. You're welcome. I Thanks for coming. Can you just tell us a little bit about your business and how I got started? I used to own a cell phone store, so I was in the cell phone industry, and the company that I worked for got bought out and they started closing down like a lot of the individual stores, which is what I had. So I tried to come up with something, like after eight years of building a book of business, I thought, what could I do where I can still kind of work with the same customers and offer you know, some other services to them. So I started researching promotional product, um, marketing materials, because that was what my background was. So I ended up coming up with like custom apparel, promotional products, um, things like that. We create logos. So basically, any business, any school, can come in and just pick out apparel or you know products like promotional products mugs pens and then we basically can put your logo on anything and if it's a really small business and you don't have a logo we can create one so we we also do that but it's it's mostly schools and businesses um, local we don't really ship a whole lot out of here it's mostly just the immediate capital region it's a fun business because it's something different every day and different logos that we're working with and customers. Yeah. So. And you get to like help other businesses out mm -hmm. too. So that's yep. amazing. Yeah, and like give them ideas to help uh, promote their business and wear their logo, hand out things with their logo. And then we also are um, Shenandoah Schools. We do a lot of work for them. They have a licensed vendor program, so okay. we are enrolled in that. So we stock a lot of the local school district gear here for people to just come in and purchase it right off the rack as well. And can you tell us a little bit more about the process? What can somebody expect when they come into your business? Once they come in, as long as they have their logo, we can guide them as to what type of apparel they're looking for and then decide what decoration yeah. process will work the best, whether we stitch it or we print it. And how can somebody support your business? We support a lot of the local schools and a lot of like firehouses and things with donations and things. So just the community coming in and shopping with me helps me be able to donate back, back to them. And how have you found the 518 community to be supportive of your business? We found them to be very supportive. I mean, this we are right in the middle of the Shenandoah School District, so we get a lot of families from the school coming in to buy hooded sweatshirts, and then they see what we do, and some of them own their own businesses, so we might it might turn into us doing stuff for their, their business. So we do accept items from the outside, so if somebody bought a sweatshirt maybe through their local school and they didn't offer them the option to put their name and their player number or something on the sleeve, like we're one of the only ones that do that. We will accept things that other places had done and we will customize it a little further for them or personalize it. If we show a little kindness and do that one towel, you know, if they need vacation t-shirts for a family reunion or something, they'll remember us. So that's it for this episode of Small Biz 518. For more information, visit embroideredandpromote.com.